Assalamu alaikum, I'm Zafar Bangash. Welcome to Crescent International Commentary on the Web. The tiny island of Bahrain, where an uprising started on February the 14th, gained some traction for the first few weeks, and then there was a massive clampdown not only by the regime, but also forces sent in from Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. There were an estimated 2,000 troops that the Saudis and the Emiratis sent into Bahrain, and they not only attacked the protesters and demonstrators, incidentally peaceful people who had come with their wives and children and women, etc. But these forces also attacked hospitals, they dragged the wounded and the injured out of their hospital beds, and they attacked the doctors as well. And these hospitals were all occupied by these foreign occupation forces. And they did it under the guise of the Gulf Cooperation Council. Now the Gulf Cooperation Council was established in 1981 at a time when the, when the Iraqi regime of Saddam Hussein was attacking the Islamic Republic of Iran. The Gulf Cooperation Council was established at the behest of the United States so that these Arab monarchies, these illegitimate monarchies led by Saudi Arabia but consisting or the other members include of course uh, Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, United Arab Emirates and Oman and although it, they call themselves the Gulf Cooperation Council, Iraq which is also on the Persian Gulf was excluded as well as Iran which is on the eastern shores of the Persian Gulf was also excluded because the Gulf Cooperation Council was established to target and undermine Iran. So these forces from the Gulf Cooperation Council have invaded uh, Bahrain in order to crush the uprising against the, the rule of the Khalifa family that has ruled Bahrain for nearly 200 years. Now the people of Bahrain are asking for nothing more than what the other people in the Middle East have been asking for, whether it was in Tunisia, Egypt, um, Libya or Yemen or any other place. And yet we see that while these Arab tribal monarchies urged a, res a no-fly resolution, imposed a no-fly resolution on Gaddafi's Libya, and yet they sent their forces to prop up another corrupt monarchy in, in Bahrain. The real reason is that the Saudis are extremely worried that if the uprising in Bahrain were successful and the Khalifa family were overthrown, that this would have an effect on the people in the eastern part of the Arabian Peninsula, and from there this movement would move and ultimately uh, disturb or disrupt the control and hold of the House of Saud in the Arabian Peninsula. So the Saudis are fighting for their own survival in the streets of Bahrain. But the movement that the people of the Middle East have started appears unstoppable and the winds of change that are blowing are likely to blow the House of Saud as well. And the sooner that happens the better because they are the real source of all the problems and all the troubles in the Muslim world. That's all for today. You've been watching Crescent International Commentary on the web. I'm Zafar Bangash. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.